In this tutorial, we define lines, rays, and segments, and how to construct them using the Desmos geometry tools. This is a line. A line is made up of an infinite number of points. A line is straight and extends to infinity in both directions. Any two points define a unique line. Here's how to construct a line using the Desmos tool. From the Geometry window, click on the Line tool. Click once to define the first point, then move to the right and click again. You should see a line on screen. Click on the Selection tool, then click and drag on the line to move it. Then click and drag on one of the points to rotate the line. Repeat with the other point. To add a label to a point, click on a point. See the label option on the left side of the screen? Click on the box and you should see a label on the point. Repeat with the other point. Now let's look at rays. A ray is made up of an infinite number of points. A ray extends to infinity in one direction. Two points define a unique ray. Now let's return to the Desmos tools to explore rays. Working with the previous document, click on the Ray tool. Click once to define the first point. Click again to define the second point. See how the ray extends beyond the screen but only in one direction? Click on the Selection tool to click and drag the ray to move and rotate it. Label the points just as you did with the line. Add the labels C and D. Now let's look at line segments. A line segment is made up of an infinite number of points. A line segment has a finite length. A line segment has two endpoints that define it. Now it may seem a contradiction that a line segment has infinite points but a finite length. But remember that points are locations in space. They have no dimension. The infinite points are infinite locations and have nothing to do with length. Now let's return to the Desmos tools to explore segments. Working with the previous document, click on the Segment tool. Click to define each endpoint of the segment. Click the Selection tool to move and rotate the segment. Label the segment as shown. Make a note of how the Desmos tools can be used to create lines, rays, and segments.